Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our test rigor codeless automation series. In this video, we are going to talk about that how to run your test cases on browser stack. You must have heard about a different cloud vendors are available in the market. They will allow you to execute your test cases on multiple browsers, multiple uh, mobile app, uh, mobile devices. You can use that. You can just like pick any Chrome browser or or any version of the Chrome, Firefox or Safari or on any platform, you can execute that. So we are going to talk about today browser stack integration with test trigger. How to do this? It's very simple. So this is a test trigger that I'm going to launch and then I'm going to sign in after this. And uh, let's create a simple test suite once again here. This is my uh, suite name that I'm going to create. Let's see. Um, let's write browser stack uh, test suite, something like this. And we are going to do web testing. The application that I'm going to use, let's see the same application because application, you can use anyone. Uh, and um, Windows operating system, Chrome, and then I don't want to generate any auto uh, test cases. So simple zero and create new test suite. And then uh, what I'll do here is that I'm going to write some test over here. So let's see, this is my simple, I'm writing, let's see, uh, home page uh, test that I'm going to write. Home page test on browser uh, stack, right? On the browser stack cloud, we are going to run it. So in the test, you can write anything, whatever the application that we are using. So let's see, we are using this application. And the test is very simple. You just need to come on this application, scroll it down. And then you have to check a couple of things that uh, these pricing information for each and every product is available or not. For example, for iPhone, this one, MacBook, this one. And then you have to test it on multiple uh, browsers like that, right? So the script will remain same. The script wise is very straightforward. So I'm already having the script. So I don't want to spend time on writing the script. You can simply see that uh, scroll, first of all, that page down until contact us is available. This is exactly the same script that we used in the, in the last uh, video also. And then you can check that for iPhone, it contains 123, MacBook 602, Apple Cinema, and then uh, Canon camera also 98.0. So this is a simple script that I have written and then you simple what you do and uh, Let's quickly check that on test trigger cloud. Is it really working or not? So I'm just going to click on add and run When you click on add and run you can see that yes The test is getting started and then it will definitely work here, but we are not running on browser stack So what we have to do here is that so let it run completely here before that, by the time we can go to settings and then under settings, there are multiple different various settings are available. You can see authentication, proxy, integrations and everything. So today we are going to talk about two important settings. One is integration because browser stack is a third party cloud. And then we are going to talk about multiple browser configuration also. So if you click on multiple browser configuration by default, whatever the or the first screen that we have selected that the provider is test trigger operating system windows and on Chrome browser, I want to run it. But what example, for example, I really want to run it on other environments or other provider. So right now in the provider section, you are getting only test provider or test rigor actually, because we don't have, I mean, we haven't configured browser stack or Lambda test or any other uh, configurations or any other integrations. So what we have to do, let's go to integrations uh, section and there are multiple integrations you can do. For example, let's see Zira integration or test rail or browser stack, Lambda, Sauce Labs, right? There are many integrations are there. Today we are going to talk about, let's see, browser stack and you click on enable browser stack from here. Then it's asking that enter your username and the access key. So in browser stack, they will provide you one username and access key. So what we have to do, we will go to browserstack.com. Let's uh, sign in. You will get uh, some hundred minutes or something. Uh, you can run your test cases over here. After that, you have to pay for it. It's a, a paid vendor tool. Just simple write your test email and the password. Let's see, I'm giving my password something. Okay. And I agree the checkbox and click on sign me up. Okay. And uh, it's validating and then it will create your account over here. Then it's saying, please check your email. So that email is, I think it's already available here. And then you can see browser stack account activation. Let's activate the account. When you activate the account, and uh, see, it's giving you that uh, for which purpose that you want to use that. 
So if you really want to use, let's see for website purpose or for a mobile purpose, you can use that. Otherwise you can skip that also. So let's see, I'm just using for the website point of view. And then what kind of uh, testing that you are looking for, like manual testing, automation testing or visual testing. So I'm looking for automation testing. And then after that, we are setting up your automation dashboard. So it will generate one dashboard for you. And you can see that the URL is like automate dot browser stack dashboard part over here. Then if you really want to configure Selenium with different uh, languages and everything that also you can do that. So right now we are not using Selenium, Java or Python or Cucumber or anything. Here you, what you need to do, you see that your free plan comes 100 minutes. You have 100 minutes remaining. It means for 100 minutes, you can execute your test cases here. After that, you have to pay for it. Then you simply go to access key section and here you will see, see these two sections. Uh, this is my username and this is my access key. This is what test trigger is asking. So simple copy that and uh, go back to your test trigger configuration. This is the username that we are using. And what is the key? The key again, you copy from here. And then this is the access key that you have to use it over here. So this is my username and this is the key. After that, when this is done, you have to save it. So don't forget to save it. Okay, perfect. So that is what we have saved. Then you go to multiple browser section here. And then here you can see the test trigger provider is already available that Chrome. But now in the provider section, browser stack is also added. When you click on it, now you can see browser st uh, stack specific operating system browser version is coming. So I'm saying, okay, I really want to use Windows operating system. And on Windows, let's see Windows 10, the browser I want to use, let's see, for example, Chrome browser. And the browser version that I really want to use, let's see, somewhere around 105.0 version and then add it here. And I don't want to execute my test cases on test trigger. So you simple, you can delete this entry now. And uh, again, I'm going to use, let's see, another Windows uh, 10 browser is equal to Firefox and add the browser, but uh, not 32. So let me select the some latest browser, let's see around 105 and then add the browser. Then again, you can select, let's see, uh, if you really want to select uh, Windows and Mac also, you can select that. And, uh, but let's see, again, I'm selecting Windows 11. And on Windows 11, I really want to select, for example, Edge browser, and then click on the Edge browser selected, let's see 105 once again, and add the browser. So you can select any browser version, any operating system. So I have selected three Windows operating system and then three browser, different browser versions I have selected on browser stack. And I've deleted the entry for the test rigor. Perfect, so this is so far working here like that. And now I'll go back to my test cases and then earlier test cases that we were executing on the test trigger cloud, which is absolutely working fine. But now I'm going to run it on browser stack, how to run it. So let's do one thing and then click on retest once again. So when you click on retest, and then you can just uh, open it here. And you can see it's in the queue. And you can see that one link execution link is there. What you can do right click on it, open a new tab. And here you will see the screen shot by screenshot execution will be displayed over here. So here you can see that's in the queue. See the browser stack is the vendor. Oh, that's so nice. This is the script that you are using it. And it's all these three tests running in the three different browsers, uh, Windows 10, Chrome, Windows 10, Firefox, Windows 11 Edge. And then we will be able to see over here as well. So here, oh, what exactly we can do here is that we can go to the dashboard. So you simply remove this URL up to the dashboard and uh, you can go to your dashboard forward slash V2. And that's so nice. You can see three test cases are running over here. See, you can see that Chrome 105, Windows 10, 10 and 11 for Firefox and Edge browser. And then all these three test cases are completed. You can check the video also here. That's so nice. And uh, you can see other capabilities and everything. This is what they have started. And you can see the logs also here. And uh, let's see uh, what is the status. So here the status is giving you pass over here. That's so nice. And then you can see the screenshot for each and every window here. This is for uh, Windows Chrome. And this is a step number four. And then all these are four assertions that we are using. And it's a displaying on the respective uh, browser and the operating system on browser stack cloud here. That's so great. And then you can check the video here. So let's see that on uh, Chrome browser on Windows 10, what happened. So let me play the uh, video here. So when you are playing it, you can just uh, Okay, see, it's getting played over here. And then you can just a uh, full screen mode, you can check that. So this is my application where, see, it is uh, running it, it took around 47 seconds to execute this particular test. 
query leave or to keep move forwarding you can just uh, do that and then you can increase the speed let's say increasing the forex and that that is what i'm using it so then that also you can check that and then finally just coming down and then that's it and you can download the video and all such things also you can do that perfect so here we have executed a test cases on different browsers same thing you can check on the firefox also you will see other attributes like this and uh, who is the user username and uh, start date of browser window status duration everything is marked over here so yes test figure test cases can be executed on the cloud also on the browser stack cloud as well this is absolutely working fine so any test that you really want to test you can test it over here you just need to do what let me go back to the test cases once again go to the settings and i'll uh, quickly repeat the settings go to the integration sections make sure that okay your browser stack is username and access key is integrated and connected successfully and then after that go to multiple browser section and select the browser configuration here sometime what happens let's say i really want to add a test trigger also in the test trigger also i want to run it and then you can select that which operating system windows let's see with chrome so you can add it here as well now what will happen uh, the test cases will be running uh, on browser stack and the test cases will be running on the test rigor also so in test rigor we are using windows and chrome it will always take the latest version and then save it so now if i'm running it once again let's go to the test cases here and uh, if you run it once again then let's go to this one and then retest it so click on retest and uh, see execution got started here you can just see the execution link right click on it open new tab and then you can check it here so and then same thing you can check it here also see all these three in the loading state now that's automatically it's triggering because of the access key in your case access key will be different in your it's your own unique access key and uh, see this this is absolutely working fine so now this is so beautiful that uh, three test cases on browser stack cloud and this is the test case on the test trigger cloud with windows machine and then obviously test trigger will be triggering fast because it's uh, it's their own cloud and they are sending the request to the browser stack and then one by one it's running so that's why the screenshot is taking some time to execute that this column is already filled it means browser stack with firefox is done this is also done and then the finally one more screenshot will be displayed over here with all these four assertions the reporting part i really loved it with the test trigger this is like amazingly great and then maybe after some time the edge also perfect it's absolutely working fine here and then you can check the another three entries over here like this so in your company if you are using browser stack you can easily integrate with the test trigger and then execute your test cases on their cloud with multiple browser options that you can do it so, and a script doesn't matter any script that you can run it see i'll tell you one more thing see there is one more combination retest combination so what is retest combination that on which browser you want to run it you really want to run only on chrome firefox edge and chrome you can run it over here and if you really want to see the reporting section directly from here see there are four tabs called created windows firefox and then firefox related windows firefox related test cases i mean the test steps with the screenshot windows edge uh, edge browser and then the chrome browser also here perfect so that's all for this video i hope you liked it please subscribe to the channel and please start using test rigor this is an amazing tool it's just saving a lot of lot of time you don't need to write any single line of code just simple write the plain english and the integrations are amazingly great guys it can be integrated with lambda test or sauce labs or browser stack there are various types of integrations are there we will see in upcoming uh, chapters so in the next chapter i'll tell you how to integrate with the lambda test also or maybe sauce labs we can take that one perfect so that's all with this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all